I went to the vape shop and wipe it. I mean, it might be kind of uh, like weird or something if I go in there. Burger and fries. Feels kind of weird. So I'm in the back rooms to Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, before. Sign is on for all well, actually, it might harm both. Look at that. Two cameras pointing to each other. Again, just like I did in the computer room. My friends, welcome to Pack Valham and I Want to Lie, season three, episode four, part three. As you can see, I'm in the lobby again of 865 East, the residences, and I guess the plaza referred to you know, the restaurants and uh, vape shop. That's um, now honestly. When the semester started, I went to the vape shop half as much as I had gone previously, because half of zero, zero. Uh, yeah. So as you can tell, when I go back to a location in this episode, that means it's an incorrect prediction, and also you can see the red text. Actually, not necessarily, because for continuity, I'll briefly go to the Arboretum and then make my way to somewhere like on campus. Like, I mean, the Arboretum's owned by JMU, but like, uh, you'll see. Okay, I, I wasn't, what, I had it like this, I couldn't see the screen, I couldn't see if it was a good spin or not, but I see it's pointing at future barf right now, so I'll just do that. Well, it took me a good bit to find this one. This is the second one. This is the first one. Yeah. It's barf. Same thing. Well, as you can see, there's more red text on the screen. You, you can see it says it's exercise, and then I forget what else, but it's another incorrect prediction. So I have to go down to the exercise room. Sanitize its effect and wipe it. Oh, they are right out of <laughs> paper towels. <laughs> and I'm not going on the treadmill this time.
This one is a Toast the Marshmallow or a Stink Bug. This one. A little bit sticky. Well, does that mean it's a marshmallow? I mean, stink, or a stink bug sticky. I've not bit down on it yet, so I don't know the flavor yet, but I'm just going to spin this. Mm. Mm. It's right on the line, so I'll just give it another spin. Uh, okay, one of those lose lose white ones. That's a stink bug. That stinks. Now, don't worry, this is one of those. It's There's some sticky stuff from other beans on it. It's not part of the actual color pattern, so I believe this one's not a birthday cake or a dish water. Well, I was right, isn't that one of these? Wait. Okay, I was wrong. I was about to say I was right, it's not one of these, but it's also not one of these. It's one of these that's so marshmallow, but now, you know what? I actually, I actually did get one of those. Um, didn't mean to do that, so, um, too late now, it's fine. And, well, this is the first time I've gotten a birthday cake bean, brother, accidentally, or if I meant to get that one out of here, and it's not a dirty dishwater. Huh. So I guess it's similar to a, a marshmallow flavor, though it doesn't really taste toasted, though, man. Anyway, next, you'll see me at the pavilion in the Arboretum, the Edith J. Carey Arboretum. There's a family garden over there. In retrospect, remember I was over there at the, you know, uh, that bridge on the other side of the stairs, baby editor me, can show the clip where I said I could go either way. There's a specific spot I wanted to sit at. A couple of ways to get there. I could go across this bridge and go to the right, or I could go here and go across the bridge. I'll just go this way. I ended up just deciding to, instead of coming up this way, to go that way. Well, it now seems like if I had just gone across the bridge and up the stairs across the path, boom, there's the pavilion. Would have been shorter than the way I went, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with the way I went. Some more scenery of the Edith J. Carey Arboretum. Oh, that big building is where I'm going. That is the Atlantic Union Bank Center which does have one dining location. Tenders love chicken. And obviously, as you can tell by the name, they have hamburgers. No, I'm kidding, they have chicken tenders and chicken tender sandwiches. But I am not going to eat there this evening. Speaking of evening, they're only open for supper, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. That was the same as last year, so the past two semesters. But two dining locations have extended hours. Instead of Steak and Shake opening at 5 p.m. closing at midnight, they open at noon and close at midnight. And uh, Corner Bistro in Memorial Hall is now open until 6 p.m. 
that building over there is East Campus Dining Hall. One of two all you care to eat uh, dining halls on campus. The other one is a main campus, which is on the other side of Atlanta City. That one is D Hall. And there's also some other dining options on the first floor. So I'd have to use a punch to get in there, but I've decided, well actually random chance, decided that I'm not going to E-Hall today. Actually I could have, actually random chance did say I'm going to E-Hall, but because I'm going up off the line and the timing and stuff, I decided to go to E-Hall at a later time, so yeah. There's the Duke Dog. And I can there see. I'm not great with presidents and I and if I I mean I wouldn't have been able to identify that that's James Madison just seeing his picture somewhere. But because of the James Madison University it'll make sense that I, I believe that is look there's Duke Dog statue. This is the JMU Alumni Association Plaza, which is between the Ballard Parking Deck and the Atlantic Union Bank Center. Okay, I'm gonna get a close-up of Duke over here. to enter any of these doors like uh, this late in the day in the semester but okay over here is TLC I mean should I even do I bluff play in here I mean I could do it outside it's nice enough weather real the real done right quality ingredients prepared with passion. I mean, it might be kind of uh, like weird or something if I go in there not to eat. I don't know. what I'm just going to go to that corner over there so this is my third semester at JMU my first semester I just ate wherever but then my second semester I made this and I used it well I mean I made it just sometime before the second semester started and I, I used it then and I'm using it again for this semester so Earlier E Hall was at zero, but I decided I'm not going to E Hall today, so I tapped it later. So now it's decided I will go to festival get burger and fries. Feels kind of weird to mention a hamburger inside TLC. C stands for chicken. Or at least it's not Chick fil A. Which is on the first floor of D Hall. I'll uh, get to it eventually, I think. Unless I run out of this video before I get to main campus. Or something. All this time! They like the way you stir it. They like to eat it up. They like the way you serve it.
right off the bat, I'm actually thinking you would not want to hit this piece with. Yeah, I'm guessing this piece switch is like not good news. So here's TLC and over there is Festival. There is an inner campus shuttle, ICS. Has various spots on campus. Some in main campus, some on east campus. All the way from Memorial Hall to Jennings Hall. Festival Conference and Student Center. They have lots of big rooms in here. We can we can have like big events, banquets and stuff. There's also And over there through those doors is the food court. A few dining options in here. Including a place where I can get a burger and fries. Oh, they have ranch fries. Every time I go there I get the ranch fries. I'll give you a quick tour of the food court. Oh, there's also some museums downstairs, or at least there's a mineral museum downstairs somewhere, like in the back, somewhere in the back rooms. Don't know if it's open now or not. It's free admission though when it is open. There's another kind of museum, I think it's downstairs also. Uh, some study areas over there where you can eat there. Yeah. Elevator. And there's stairs just on the other side there, but also some stairs not far that way. Oh, also down here, the kitchen off campus life. So a few different places on campus, some in the Union. There's one here, I'm not sure where else, where they have microwaves and refrigerator available for student use. So designed for like off campus you get you know commuting. Alright, here's a quick tour of the festival food court. Over here East Side Subs. Beverage fountains, they also have lots of grab and go items. Like over there. Let's see over here and over here Tavolino you can get a bowl of pasta and over here chopsticks no Duke deals I, I don't know what the deal with that but obviously Asian food over here some more grab and go items over here east side wings they have boneless wings and you can get onion rings or potato wedges with it you know carrots celery ranch over here personal pizzas and over here, burger and fries, and chicken and tenders. What's the difference between chicken and tenders? So I guess that means chicken sandwiches versus chicken tenders. This is where I am going to get the oh. Oh, I forgot to tell you. In the center here, on this side, they have acai bowls. And not available for a Duke deal though. But at Freshens in UREC or D Hall, you can, I think you can get an acai bowl for a punch. You can also get a smoothie for a punch. Anyway, on this side, the salad spot, you can punch a salad here. And this is the only place in festival here that has a kiosk. Alright, I got a classic burger on a wheat bun with cheddar cheese and iceberg lettuce and pickle and two sauces that I chose. So I guess it's unlimited, but I just got the two that I usually get. The signature sauce in the Dijon horseradish mayonnaise. Over here. 
or ranch fries. Just uh, crinkle cut fries with ranch seasoning on it. And I got a lemonade because you know lemonade is good with the burger and fries, right? Oh, two things I forgot to mention. East Side Subs at first place. They also have their own house made chips and they have a bunch of seasonings in the front so you can choose which seasoning you want. Like you have ranch seasoning and uh, barbecue and uh, Old Bay and I don't know maybe a few others. And also on the back side of you know where they have the acai and the salads they also have soup. I'm at soup! What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup! What? I don't know the... There's there's nothing indicating if the soup is available for a Duke deal or any price. So... I mean, I could ask, but I've never bothered to do that. So, I don't know how much the soup is. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! Why did I think that piece which was wrong? At some point, maybe tonight, maybe a different day, I'll have to go back to TLC and AUBC and be boozled myself. Here is... Oops, wrong video. Well, I should have figured he'd mess something up. <laughs> I don't really watch superhero movies. I'm not into them. Dang it! What if you don't actually need that falling pal? I don't know. Okay, let's figure out. Okay. I'm gonna guess he messes up in that area at least one more time. Here's what we do. I don't believe in heroes. Exactly. Okay, alright. One pal goes there. Okay, alright. You know, I've actually never been in the Rose Library. But you know what? You get to go in there with me. So, yeah. Not just my first time recording a video in there, it be my first time actually going in there, and that's... So, let's see. So, over there... Way over there, that's King Hall. That's where my major is, computer science. And then attached to that... Is NGO, yeah, engineering and geo sciences, and then next to that, phys chem, phys chemistry. Next building over is bioscience, like biology and whatever. And then the next building over, you can't see it from here, or can you? Can I? No. Rose Library. I do know there's a Starbucks location in there, but. I'm not a coffee drinker. Yeah. 
I prefer tea or hot chocolate. Well, I just heard pool balls clacking, which reminds me a couple of other things down. That door's squeaky. A couple of other things downstairs. There's pool tables, and there's also a nap nook. It has they have chair, like the reclining chairs, and then you can nap in it. And there's a study area over there. Sit down and do some work. Yeah. But I don't think I'm going to be making any footage down there. Or at least right now, I don't have any plans to. East Campus Dining Hall, that way. That's where I came from before I entered the festival. Rose Library. Oh, that way. There it is, that, that building. If you can see it on the other side of the trees there. I think that is the Rose Library. Yep, I see a sign over there that says the Rose Library. Yep. Over there is a wind turbine. Which reminds me of the Pennsylvania trip. The trip when we went to Pennsylvania. Uh, I mentioned it in... Uh, I don't think it was explanations video. I think it was actually in season three. But on our way to Pennsylvania, in Pennsylvania, bef before we got to our first destination, we saw a lot of wind turbines. That was, that was cool. Yeah. There is one other wind turbine, at least that I know of, in Harrisonburg, and it is at, uh, if I correctly recall, Thomas Harrison Middle School. Mm, no, Route 33 West. So like West Market Street or Raleigh Pike, whatever it's called there. Okay. This is my first time entering the Rose Library. If I can, if they're open this late, I don't know. I think that's festival there. And there's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's bio. Right here. Big building. There are a lot of buildings on campus that are big, like the Student Success Center and UREC, Rose Library, and some of the academic halls and some of the residence halls also big. Oh. Are those metal detectors? Well, I guess those are there. It's like in case you don't steal anything. Yeah, that's what they're for. Okay, this is nice. Computer's over here. Because I'm in the library, I want to be quiet and respectful. Oh, printer's over here. Hmm. So, what's up there? More, I guess that's where the books are. Oh, there's the Starbucks. What's this? That? Oh, it's Gandhi. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. You know, this close without reading it, I would have recognized him, but from back there, I did not recognize him. We can only win over the opponent by love, never by hate. Hate is the subtlest form of violence. Hatred injures the hater, never the hated. Well, actually, it might harm both. Okay, what's on, what's on the... Oh, okay, you know what? 24 hours space, so that's right. I can come here any time of day. Second floor, Eliason, librarian offices, and group study rooms. 
and then level three, flex space, library, classrooms, four, group settings, quiet study, fine. So, I might check out in different places in the library a different day, but right now I'll just sit at one of those computers, but then use my computer to do I bluffed a lot. Second pal goes there. Then we can go in the door. Well, that just happened. Okay, this prediction is going to be similar to the previous one, but it's going to be for that room he just entered. He's not going to figure it out the next time he enters there. No, you can mess up again. So at least one more time before he finally figures it out. So doors. Of course, it's common courtesy. You don't have to be a JMU student to do it. And before I started coming here, I would often forget to do it. But Duke's old doors, that stuck with me. And so it. So now, you know, I, I do it more often. Alumni Center, home of the JMU Alumni Association. Over there, I think that is like, connected to the back side of festival. So, like, I, I guess similar to how Fizzcam's connected to NGO and NGO's connected to King. Somewhere on the other side of that building is right. Cheeseburger with the, uh, the signature sauce and the Dijon horseradish too. and the ranch fries on the side. This is the bioscience building. I thought about maybe once I'll go in here, but you know what? I don't know if I'll have enough locations or from make enough predictions. Or something. Or I mean, I might have too many locations or not enough predictions, but I don't know. But the past couple were pretty quick, so I don't know. Inner campus shuttle, and up there's another one. Now, usually they're pretty spaced apart and come to the stop uh, roughly five minutes there'll be another one but then uh but sometimes they bunch together i've seen like three or maybe four when you're gonna see how those the two buses the next week like close to each other sometimes you like three or four close to each other but anyway so over here that's bio over here physicam i'm uh, walking through there go through and I go through NGO and then find a spot in King. So in this building I guess students can learn about atoms and molecules and you know, stoichiometry and reactions and you know, vectors and how matter interacts with each other. Right? Right? Atomic physics of course I'm sure there will be atomic physics courses salt in here and then you're leaving the physics chemistry building yep and there's another entrance there I could take the stairs but you know what I'm taking the ramp
Now we are in geo, engineering and geo sciences. Card sharks usually meet here. I think it's in there. Well, one of these. At Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Editor, we has to put that face in the teaser. Alright. So the division is pretty clear. There's that entrance, just a little bit of stairs and the ramp that separates Physicum with Edgeo. But the it's a little less clear between Ngeo and King, but as you can see there are four digit numbers here. Four digit numbers are NGO. And then over there, King, it's three digit numbers. And another entrance here. I guess you could say this entrance separates NGO with King. But yeah. Interestingly, this semester I don't have any CS courses because I was put on wait lists that so I couldn't get in. But I am missing several or a few um, uh, gen eds. So this semester I'm only doing gen eds. In fact, all of my courses are on main campus. So I'll set up one of these chairs. Ooh, that's sun, very bright. Oh, there is a James Madison statue. Which uh, I'll show you later. And after I make a prediction. Then. Do I want to go to Urec yet? Or do I just want to call it quits? And then start the next part at well here going to Urec. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. Okay. And there's an outlet right there. Very convenient. I don't, I don't remember. Did Dave try tossing that gloom up there? Earlier? Well, I'm thinking maybe, if not, then maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm guessing you actually do have to toss the gloom up there. Maybe before tossing it down there, or maybe you don't toss it down there at all, but... In any case, I do believe you have to toss the glue up there. I feel like I should know who's Loki. I feel like I should know who's Loki. Loki, but I don't. I mean, I guess we have to go in. Okay. Well, I don't really know how long or short this video is going to be. You now I've been trying to make it about a half hour, you know, with editing and stuff, roughly around there. But I think I'll just. Even though I don't know how long or short it'll, this one is, I'm just, right, for now, I just, um, I just wrap it up here. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button, and you'll see me next time. Until then, take care. Oh, yeah, next time I'm going to go down uh, one of these stairs. And then walk on over to there. That's... UREC, University Recreation Center. 
And here's James Madison statue. James Madison, father of the U.S. Constitution, donated by Bruce and Lois Forbes, 64, to commemorate the university's centennial March 14th, 2008. I guess I'd have to go to TLC first to take care of the incorrect prediction there. And then simply to add, like, jump to and the Arboretum for continuity, I'll jump here in front of King Hall before I go to York. I was a little concerned that Perhaps I was responsible in some way for your uh, metamorphosis. Which metamorphosis? Kafka or Ovid? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Oh.